hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing well if you're new to my channel my name is candace amrali west be sure to hit that subscribe button leave a thumbs up on this video and turn on your post notifications so you won't miss any time i upload a video as you can tell from the title this is going to be my pennywise haul for the month of may now i usually go to the branch in san fernando but this time i decided to go to the one located in laramine the one in San Fernando is pretty small and the aisles are also kind of small but the super center in Laramine the aisles are wider and the other thing is that you're able to pick up majority of the products for yourself in the super center whereas Pennywise in San Fernando you have to ask the clerks can I have this can I see this can I see that so I just wanted a little bit more ease of shopping I'm going to start off with the necessities first and I picked up this two pack of crests toothpaste it says crest plus scope and whitening it says a lot of things on this so crest complete plus plus whitening scope outlast feel fresh up to seven times longer okay so i just decided to pick up the two packs so that i don't have to make a run for toothpaste anytime soon and this was $30.95. I also picked up this trip pack of palm olive soap. It was $14.95 and this is in the scent cherry and coconut. I also purchased my handy dandy wipes. These were $12.95. The brand is Huggies. It says jumbo pack. So there are 72 wipes in this one and it is in the scent pure. I use these to take off my makeup. I also got this cute little bottle of Vaseline. This is 100% pure petroleum jelly and it is 1.75 ounce. This was $5.95 and I got this specifically for a video that I want to do very soon. I was more prepared for this Pennywise trip than my last. So I had a list and on my list I had two skincare products. The first one is this one which is a repurchase. So this is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer and it says oil free moisture now this was $44.95 and I absolutely adore this moisturizer the scent of it is just so fresh and so clean it really says morning burst because you just feel so bright and ready to start your day I do not like moisturizers that has oils in it I know it might be good for your skin or whatever but I just feel like if it's going to clog up my pores and the place is already hot so I just want something that is lightweight. The only downfall of this is that it doesn't have any SPF. So if you're going out in the sun, you might want to get something with SPF to protect your skin against the rays of the sun. But for me right now, you know, you're just at home chilling. So this thing is just perfect. <laughs> I feel like I'm just raving on and on about this but this feels so nice on the skin so if you want to incorporate this in your regular routine you can try this out as like an evening moisturizer or just one when you're staying at home but I recommend this to you if you see this and you're looking for a moisturizer like what I described this to be go ahead and pick this up I personally have never seen this product before but it is by the brand EPL I want to say and it is the charcoal foaming cleanser it says one step clean with built-in brush detoxify purify and clarify pores and something else right so i find it was so cute now it resembled <laughs> like a biore product i just find it has that kind of a, a look so it has as they said a built-in brush on top here now i have not tried it i haven't even opened it first time taking this off so it has a brush I don't know if you could see that good can you no okay but the bristles are plastic and it feels pretty soft so I don't know I guess you have to oh <laughs> oh sorry I know I kind of need to skin care so please forgive me so I just pressed pumped it down and the foam came up out of it so I'm guessing you just have to kind of like go oh this is gonna be nice to use smells good so i'll let y'all know how this works this was 24 dollars and 95 cents and it's so cute i also picked up two makeup items the first one is my 
tried and true ever so faithful foundation the only one i think i've ever tried out and never had a reason to switch it is the maybelline fit me matte and poreless foundation it says normal to oily skin and i am in the shade 355 coconut now when i went into pennywise i know last time that i went they weren't selling any makeup items so this time when i went in i was really hopeful so when i reached by the makeup section i saw this caution tape stretched straight across so i was like wait because i'm literally doing this <laughs> on the bustle that i have at the moment so i definitely needed this so you know i hung hung around the area a little bit i say way boy nah i can't give up so easy i had to ask one of these girls where's this scene with the makeup so i got the attention of one of the clerks and she was like once you know your shade she can go and pick it up so she could go behind the caution tape and actually pick it up so i just rattled off this thing so quick and she brought it to me i was so happy and excited to receive this so what they are not doing is testing foundation or testing anything that you need a specific shade for once you know your shade they will hook you up with it so i'm really happy that i got through with this and this was 61 dollars and 95 cents if you saw my last video, which was my birthday vlog, you would have seen me struggle to put on some lashes. And in the end, it didn't even work out. And a large part to do with that was because of the eyelash adhesive that I was using. So I YouTube searched best eyelash adhesives and I came across this one. It is by the brand Kiss, I believe. So it says INV by Kiss. It says super strong hold eyelash adhesive stays in place. So it has a gold cover with a white body. And I have used it. I used it today and it works really, really nicely. I mean, <laughs> I still struggle. I'm going to be real. I still struggle because I'm not accustomed to the um, eyelash game. But I know the importance of, a, of when eyelashes. It just takes your look from here all the way up to here. So this is what it looks like it dries clear right so it's that's the applicator there so the applicator is pretty soft now let's get into here so the first thing that i picked up is a pack of rubber bands by the brand magic it has 300 and this was i believe two dollars and 95 cents I also picked up a satin bonnet cap. This is by the brand Lux. It is in the size extra large and this was $9.95. Feels a little bit small. Maybe I need extra extra large or maybe like a 3x. But it feels pretty secure. <laughs> I also picked up some hair oil by the brand Defeel and it, this is Peppermint Premium Hair Oil. So I picked up this to moisturize my scalp and also to seal with. But I also picked it up to use with my deep conditioner. So the deep conditioner that I bought is by Africa's Best. And it says Originals Cholesterol Tea Tree Oil Conditioner. And at the bottom it says Dual Rinse Out Plus Leave-In Conditioner. So I'll be using it both ways just to see how it works. The scent is kind of interesting. I don't know what... It has a strongish kind of scent. I'm not sure what exactly is contributing to that. But I wasn't really impressed with the deep conditioner range that they had in Pennywise in Laramain. I expected a whole lot more. I don't know if stuff just may be low in things. But I kind of reverted to something that I tried already. I have not bought anything besides Eco Styler Gel in years. But based off of a recommendation of one of you guys, I decided to try the Nature's Collection Argan Oil Styling Gel. Now this is actually a smaller container and there is a bigger size container, but I decided to go the smaller one. As is the first time I'm trying it out, just to test it out to see how I like it. So this says, made with 100% pure argan oil and aloe vera. Now, in Pennywise, I had on my mask, so I wasn't able to smell this. Uh, although I smelled another product that you're going to see just now. I didn't smell this one because I'm saying, you know what, I usually use argan oil. It's just gel. But I do not like the scent of this one. It had another one that had coconut oil in it. Uh, and I put back that one and I picked up this one. So I really don't like the scent of this. I'm hoping that when I actually put it in my hair, that 
the scent fades i don't know but i'm i'm not gonna let that hold me back that's just the scent so i'm going to try it and i'll let you all know how it goes i picked up the soft and silky intense moisturizing hair cream with natural oils it says for daily use it says it has olive oil avocado oil almond oil and added essential nutrition okay so this was $20.95 and this is a small container so there's a bigger container to this this is white the scent of it is okay compared I think to the other one that I smelled I did smell this I pulled down my mask and I smelled this okay <laughs> because uh, because I wanted to know how it smelled so I'm going to let you all know how this goes now soft and silky is a uh, I don't want to say a cheap brand but a really affordable brand but i really really like this packaging i find it looked very very sleek so yes i say you know what let me get give this thing a try so i'm going to be using it as a moisturizer so again i'll let you all know how this one goes and those are all the products that i have to show for my may pennywise haul i hope you all enjoyed this video if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave that down below in the comment section and i'll respond to you as per usual i hope you enjoyed this video i hope wherever you are you are staying safe and staying at home as much as possible so i'll see you all in my next video until then take care guys bye